today I'm staying at uh, the Hotel Leitor. It's in Ovacek in Turkey. Beautiful hotel. I've stayed here many times in the past. Family run and at some point I'm sure you'll meet all the family. Uh, it is a really, really nice hotel in a nice location. I'm just um, up for breakfast. Can't wait. Turkish breakfast. Beautiful. Simple but beautiful. My room has a balcony with a view overlooking the pool, uh, as have most of the rooms. Uh, the large pool is the focal point of this beautiful hotel. It's set in mature gardens. Lots of sunbeds uh, and a large tiled area around the pool with tables and chairs to eat lunch or simply have a drink from the well-stocked bar. Breakfast and evening meals are served on the upstairs restaurant um, above the bar with views overlooking the magnificent pool. I can recommend the food here uh, as I've eaten many times in the past. Sometimes there is a different chef uh, from the previous years but Layla, the owner, somehow also finds a chef better than the one from the year before. I don't know how she does it. This is Layla with her son Egamon uh, taking a coffee break in the shade uh, of the mature pine trees. The gardens and pathways are well maintained by a resident gardener. He's called Sally and it is an E. Um, he must be the best dressed gardener in the whole of Turkey. Uh, I usually joke with him over that. Everyone that works here are so friendly uh, and they all work extremely hard. Uh, to make sure you have a really good time on holiday. Lovely sunsets from the pool area and usually a belly dancer provides some of the entertainment. Most of the audience are British guests staying at the hotel um, and the hotel is so popular that there are many repeat guests of which I am one. I inevitably meet people here that I've met on previous occasions. Wasn't planned, just, just the way it turns out to be. Um, you may come here as a stranger, uh, but you'll certainly leave with lots and lots of friends. It's a Turkish tradition um, for the guests to show their appreciation uh, by placing money discreetly into the costume of the belly dancer. Not all the entertainment is provided by visiting performers. The son of the owners, uh, Egamon, works here seven days a week throughout the season and he joins in and actually and actively encourages the guests to enjoy their time at the Lair Tour. Margaret and Dyson at the bar are repeat guests and I've been in their company on a couple of occasions. Here they are making up music about fat and bald people. Why? Just don't know. Must be too much sun gone to their heads. Just five kilometres away from the hotel is the beautiful town of Fetier. This is a working town combined with tourist trade, a happy mix that appears to work well. I photographed the Coretta Coretta, otherwise known as Loggerhead Turtle, on a couple of occasions whilst walking around Fetier Arbor. They swim really slow and graceful and know exactly the best place to be when hungry. They swim close to the arbor wall, around the area close to the fishing boats. Um, I was on a sea taxi once, uh, going across to the Chalish beach uh, on the other side of the Fetier Arbour uh, and one swam in front of the taxi for quite a long way. 
It may take several visits to the arbour before you actually see one, but worth the wait uh, as these turtles were on the endangered list not too long ago. Um, but now there's more awareness about protecting them, um, particularly in this area of Turkey. Uh, coincidentally, there are huge financial benefits for Fethiye's tourist industry as well. I never ever get fed up of watching these. The Mosaic restaurant is right in the centre of Fetchie, uh, between the arbour and the fish market. According to the reviewers on the TripAdvisor website, this is ranked as number two out of 353 restaurants in Fetchie. Uh, that was from about 1,424 reviewers. My meal was absolutely brilliant. The service was authentic, attentive and not overpowering. The Orca Boutique Hotel is a fairly recent addition uh, to the large number of hotels in the area, but uniquely and strategically placed right on the harbour with views across Fetier Bay. I've never stopped in this hotel, but I do use its carnival bar um, for coffee and cakes um, and the occasional beer. Apart from people watching, this bar has excellent free Wi-Fi something you real, rarely find around Fetier. Most of the tourist bars and hotels offer free Wi-Fi, but the quality has in the past been poor. Um, I sit here for a while, use it as a bit of an office as well. Um, people are friendly. Uh, I think there's one of the waiters is also a, an English guy. Uh, very chatty, very helpful.
Across um, Fetier Bay is Chalish Beach and the best way to get here is by sea taxi from Fetier Harbour. Uh, although the day I got there the beach was almost deserted because of an impending storm. The farthest end of the beach allegedly featured in the James Bond movie Casino Royal uh, and the making of Daniel Craig's uh, swimsuit scene emerging from the sea in his tiny blue swim trunks. At least that's the rumour around challenge. I'm now back in Fethiye but in the Turkish area, close to the harbour but more Turkish and less tourists. Um, I met up with Margaret and Ray, a lovely English couple I've met at the later in the past uh, and they introduced me to this restaurant. Uh, I've been back a few times since. Today we're having a, a late lunch, uh, we're on Hamze, which in English is known as White Bay, uh, absolutely beautiful. The only place I know in Fetje that does it is a little street cafe um, called Donichin. So if you're ever in Fetje and you um, come into the Turkish Quarter, I recommend this little restaurant, absolutely beautiful.